Hello everybody, in this Keyshot video demo, I would like to show how we can give this product scene a more dramatic look. Okay, let's start. As we can see on screen, what we have is um, a glass of liquid. The model was created using Rhino and imported into Keyshot with um, the materials being assigned here. Okay. If you want to know how to create a realistic uh, material for a glass or liquid, you might want to click on the label over here to go to a previous uh, video demo. Okay, let's head back to this uh, scene again. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is to light the scene from scratch. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is uh, to go to the environment and use the all black um, environment as the start. Okay, so what I get is uh, everything black. Okay, and I'm going to project environment, tap the HDRI editor to add my own lightings. To do that, I can use the add pin process. Okay, so I can click on add pin to add uh, light pins onto the scene okay so I added a pin and you have the options of like using circular or rectangular or half uh, pin so I want to use a rectangular one maybe move it to somewhere around here okay and you can also play with the size to make it a bit like bigger Okay, to make the pins are uh, each uh, the light each less sharp, I'm going to increase the fall value so that it's uh, more soft. Okay. Okay, I think I have uh, lighted this area. So the next thing I want to do is to illuminate the logo. Okay, to do that, I'm going to add another pin. Okay. And I think I want to use a rectangular one again. And let's adjust it until we can see the logo properly. Let's check the size again. Okay, I'm going to uh, soften it by increasing the fall value. Okay, to um, enhance realism, I think I'm going to set the, the color to be uh, having a gray, gray tone instead of pure white, okay, for both the pins, okay. Let me uh, adjust the brightness a bit. Okay, something like that. Okay, something like that. Okay, so uh, the next thing I want to do is to create some ground reflections. To do that, uh, we can create a ground plane. So go to uh, edit, add geometry, add a ground plane. And can go to the scene tab, go to the ground, ground plane and double click on it to change the specular value to something lighter so that the reflection can be seen as you can see over here and you might also want to like um, give some roughness value so that the edge is uh, less sharp okay
okay something like that okay next one I'm gonna do is I want to create the illusion of a backlighting to do that I will want to use an image editor to create a backplate image okay so let's head over to an image editor okay over here I have uh, an affinity photo you can use a uh, game or Photoshop or, or whatever image editor as long as uh, it's able to create uh, our effect okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I want to fill this whole area black okay so I'm gonna use the fill or the, the the bucket or the fill tool to fill this okay then after that um, I want to simulate a glow over here okay uh, so I change this to Y and uh, click on the paintbrush okay so we create something like, like that okay so you might want to play with the, the width to you know, get the effect okay so I already done this okay it's over here and it's already saved so uh, once you got this I uh, we can head over to Keyshot again okay the whole idea is to have something that glows in the center. So, so the glowiness um, effect you might want to you know uh, create it based on your own requirements. Okay, but in this case, I think I'll just do a, a simple circular one. Okay, so let's head over to Keyshot and let's uh, put the glow as a backplate. So we go to Environment and go to Settings go to the backlit image and you can see it's placed over as a backplate okay so what you might have to do is maybe have to click on this uh, icon to load your your image okay yeah okay if you want to continue to like tweak the the image you can uh, go to the image tab and you know, play with the the exposure adjustments and so on and so forth. Okay, so basically there are two modes: the basic and the photographic. The photographic allows for uh, more fine control. So let's head over to the photographic, and in the tone mapping you can. Okay, maybe I change this uh linear res, uh response curve to linear, and in the tone mapping you can tweak the things like the exposure okay make it brighter or darker okay so you can tweak things like exposure and you play with a uh, white balance and contrast okay and if you want to do some fine adjustment you can also click on the curves to turn it on to to uh, adjust the different aspects such as the shadow the the mid mid tone and so on and so forth okay but I don't think I want to uh, touch this uh, for the moment okay and then you have the option for denoising as well so you click on denoise and it will help to like reduce the, the graininess uh, fast okay so let me just uh, put it to some value around it okay yeah Okay, I think with that I come to the end of this uh, video demo okay hope that it has been useful see you around bye